Also tonight, officials in Philadelphia are exploring ways to handle an encampment that has been growing around the intersection of 22nd Street and the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. While it's been described as a form of protest, city officials fear that it poses a health and safety threat. Alexandria Hoff is in Spring Garden with what that group is demanding. Alex. Well, Jessica, a comparison has been made, of course, between this and the autonomous zone in Seattle known as Chaz that's gotten a whole lot of attention. Now, this is much different. It is much, much smaller, and the focus is specifically on the unhoused community. Earlier this evening, we paid a visit. Minutes into our reporting on a relatively new and semi-permanent protest zone in Center City, Philadelphia, a participant approached our eyewitness news camera. You need to get the consent of everybody involved. No, here. Not, not if I'm on the side of the street. Video and still photography taken of activity on or in plainly visible public spaces is a right protected by law. The corner of 22nd and the parkway is public property, and as of mid last week, it's the location where a tent community has been growing. Organizers oppose laws that prohibit encampments on public property and seek autonomy in allowing currently homeless or unhoused individuals to camp on city spaces without intervention. In a statement, a spokesperson for the city of Philadelphia told Eyewitness News, quote, this encampment was originally organized not by homeless individuals, but by groups identifying themselves as the Workers Revolutionary Collective and Occupy PHA. Members have since recruited homeless individuals to be part of the encampment. Homeless outreach workers who visited the site to offer housing and services were asked to stay away. Due to COVID-19 and general safety concerns, the city spokesperson added that over the weekend, the city offered to meet with representatives to come to a resolution. The city also confirmed that they have received a list of demands. According to a document found on the Occupy PHA Facebook page, those demands include the transferring of all vacant city-owned properties to a community land trust and sanctioning the parkway encampment as, quote, permanent, legal, and valid and a no police zone. Now, also found on Occupy PHA's Facebook page, a post denying that any homeless outreach officers were turned away. Now, the city does regard this as a protest, but they say they hope they can come to an equitable solution because they say that this is not a long term solution to homelessness. Reporting live in the Spring Garden section of the city, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.